Hello everyone and welcome to the Terrain Factory. This is the 11th of a series of video tutorials where I show you how I make uh, element and terrain pieces for your tabletop slash RPG games. In this video I'm going to make a small pond surrounded by rocks, grass and some terrain. Let's get to it! For this build we're going to need just a couple of things. Something rigid for the base, I'm using uh, some thin MDF approximately 20 by 20 centimeters and some different thickness styrofoam to make the terrain and the bigger rocks on top of it. So the first thing we're going to do is cut the styrofoam to put on top of the base. Since we are going to carve it to make room for the pond, I'm using the 2 cm tall one to have plenty of room to carve. After the foam is cut and glued to the base, mark approximately where your pond will be and then start carving. You don't have to carve too deep, just enough to have a little slope between the water and the ground. After that, we're going to cut some rocks from bigger chunks of foam to place around the map. Once they are glued in place, we can start filling our pond and covering our map. For the pond, make a mixture of flour, glue and water. Mix it thoroughly till you get a pancake batter consistency and then pour it in the pond, spreading it around. When that is mostly dried, we can make our mix for the terrain. It's basically the same as for the pond, we're just going to add some dirt to make it more rough. Lastly, make another batch of the same mix we used for the pond to cover the rocks and the sides of the terrain. This needs to be a little bit more thin compared to the other two. We can add some smaller rocks and pebbles around the pond and the rocks. It's better to add this while everything is still wet to make it more organic, but you can add them later when everything has dried.
After that, we can start our paint job. Start by painting the ground with a deep brown and all the rocks with a light grey. Then, apply a black wash made from black paint, water and a couple of drops of dish soap, dabbing it with some paper towel to remove any excess and to make it look less uniform. Then, we can dry brush the ground with some light brown and then some ochre and the rocks with a white paint. I like to use the same dirty brush I used for the ground to dry brush the rocks. This way, the highlights won't be completely white, but will have a, a slightly brownish hue that will look more natural. Now we can start painting our pond. First, we're going to apply a coat of light blue. Second, we are going to cover it with a more greenish blue. Third, we are going to add a couple of drops of dark blue to the paint we just used and, without mixing it completely, we are going to roughly dab it around the edges. And lastly, we are going to cover it with some wash. I'm using a dark green one, but you can use a dark blue as well, based on how you want it to look in the end. Now, to make it look more like water, we're going to cover everything with some glue, brushing it the same direction as the flow of the water. Once that has dried enough, we can add some white paint around some of the edges. Next, we can add some grass around the map. I like to put a first layer with some colander and then place some bigger chunks of grass by hand. Lastly, we can paint the edges black. After that, the build is done. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one and remember, keep playing with your maps.